at first five, Shane Hill. At the halfback, Dean Himmepo. The loose forward, Julian David and Ben Ransfield. The second rowers, Nathan York and Jody Brewer, the props. And their captain and hooker, Hookery Barlow. Gary Alcock is the referee this afternoon. Lion Red Cup action underway here at the Rugby League headquarters in Wellington with a Waikato on this perfect day here in the capital playing from left to right in the first half as Tamahohaya, the Waikato fullback, starts this match. And a solid tackle there made by the Waikato players on the first Wellington player to take the ball up to the 20 metre line. And both of these sides anxious to get two valuable points today to remain in contention for a place in the top five. Both buried as it were in the middle of the points table at the moment so there'll be a real urgency about this match here this afternoon big match for both of these two teams first set of six here to Wellington good solid six it is too up towards halfway and nothing much between the attacking or defensive records of either of these two teams now the opportunity here for Waikato did Daryl Fisher scored a hat-trick of tries last week for the Cougars against Manawatu with his first touch of the ball. Ben Ransfield, the big second row with the headgear on, number 11. Waikato, their first set of six. Absolutely superb day here in Wellington. A gorgeous autumnal day in the capital. First penalty of the match. Tamahohai. So, from the penalty, charging into the Wellington defence, the big Waikato front row forward, Nathan York, up to the 20 metre mark. Charge here for Waikato, their nippy little halfback, Shane Hill. That's some pretty solid uh, work from the front rowers, the Waikato front rowers setting it up for their backs. Some slick passing here, Willie Garrick, good tackle made on him, just 10 metres short of the line. Garrick plays the ball, running from dummy halfback, the fullback. Tamahohai, only five metres short, best opportunity in the match, first opportunity really in the match coming here for Waikato and the big gap opens up there for Julian David and he's in for the first try of the match. It's only taken the four minutes and the Waikato Cougars have posted the first try of the match coming from their second row of Julian David. Well, there's some pretty good lead-up work here from the Waikato forwards. Daryl Beasley showing the ball going across the field. And big hole that opened right up for Julian David to have the score in the corner. We'll see uh, David going across field and uh, the defence from Wellington lacking. Tamahoha, the Waikato fullback, 10 goals so far this season. This to make it 6 0. It's a very fine looking kick and just out to the left, so it remains 4 0. Oh, hi, now unsuccessful with the conversion, a restart play, kicking deep, looking straight into the sun. The Wellington defenders waiting underneath it was a Paul Howe. And that's a good kick and chase, good deep kick from the kickoff, good chase. It's two tackles held down in their own 20. Wellington have spent uh, the first the seven minutes of this match basically inside their own half. Very good solid start made here by the Waikato Cougars. It's big. Poya Puha takes it up now. Wellington starting to make some good yardage here. Up to the 40 metre mark. Along to Paul Howell, a man who scored 28 points last week in our televised game from the Addington Showgrounds and Wellington were big winners over Canterbury. I was waiting for the ref's whistle on uh, that tackle, very high tackle on uh, Paul Howell. Here yeah, we'll see it on the replay. It was Ben Rainsfield coming across. Howell just lucky to duck his head. Penley at the 45 metre mark. Yeah, good opportunity for Wellington to, to get some rhythm back in their game. They've got good go forward in their forward pack. Good line kick there from Grant Edmonds, the nephew of the Wellington coach, Mike Edmonds. Now the first real opportunity here for Wellington. Puya up over the 20 metre line. A strong run, he had a sensational game last week. This is Malcolm Lewis, makes another five metres. Good promising start here for Wellington, this is the third tackle. They're only a metre short, Wellington trying to reply to that early Waikato try. Scampering away from uh, dummy half goes to Jason Bell. 
Waikato making the tackles, however. Moving it wide again, How inside to Willie Ionu, only two metres short, Wellington. Howell again on the fifth tackle, the little kick through, and what does the referee say? No, didn't get it, or did he? Yes. The Cougars can't believe it. This will be very interesting to have a look at this again. Clever little kick there from Paul Howell, the man who scored three tries last week. It's only taken him seven or eight minutes, and he's back in the try scoring mode again this week. Well, the key playmaker, Paul Howell, plenty of defence around there. Put, really put the right option in, the little kick. Kick and chase, oh, I don't know, it's doubtful whether he got there. There looks to be a Waikato Cougar hand going for that ball at the same time as Hal. Let's have a look at this again. There's Hal, and away from the left comes one of the defenders. Well, I don't know whether he got any downward pressure on that either. That might have been a little bit lucky there for Wellington. However, the try has been awarded. They'll take it. It's for all. Paul Hal, who kicked eight goals last week, as well as scoring three tries looking straight into the sun here but very good goal kicking additions not much wind just a slight breeze shouldn't be any problems here for Howell and Wellington hits the lead after 10 minutes of play they lead by six points to four very entertaining match although we've only had two tries very even encounter Kurt it has been an even encounter and, uh, both sides being able to release the ball plenty of support on both sides Probably that's where their coaches will be wanting to uh, work a little bit more in the second half on the fence, putting the man on the ground. Malcolm Lewis running from dummy half up towards the 20 metre line in centre field. Pui Pui coming more into his own game here in the last 10 minutes after a slow start. Some very good solid runs from him. Lewis again tries to squeeze through that little half gap. Nearly did slip through it as well. He's only a couple of metres short. Tinga Pickering can't reach that last line of defence. Fifth tackle here. As Howell, what's he going to do? He's caught this time. Good pressure defence there from Waikato on Paul Howell, the key game breaker in the Wellington side. And that looks as if it might be a little high. And an indication of just how even the match is is the possession count there. 6-4, Wellington ahead on the scoreboard, one try apiece, and we've had just, just on 25 minutes of play in the first half. Nathan York. Tony Waikato. This is Clune. And uh, slipped a nice pass head to a poor header. Waikato backs really are doing well, running into the hole, they're looking for spaces. And they're not running into the Wellington players. Plenty of room out there. Here's another gap for Daryl Beasley. And a rare unforced error there from Waikato. They haven't coughed up possession too many times today, unlike their opponents. Hold here, guys. Hold here. Hold here. Wait for us. Bring it. Bring it. Go, go. Go on. Go on. Go on. Noah, the Wellington fullback, comes right, centre right, today. Right, right, right. Trying for the outside break there, but no way through. And Shane Foster, careful that he doesn't go on a touch across the far side. Moving it back towards the centre of the field. Kahu Ropana, and again the error from Wellington. Knocked on from Wellington. Possession going to Waikato. Advantage played, and away come the Cougars. Yeah, very short again. Very compressed defence from the Waikato side and managing to put a lot of pressure on Wellington. Fisher is dummy half. Beasley running out of ideas here. Slips it back to Clune. 25 metres from the Wellington line. Waikato scored a try in the first couple of minutes of the match, but nothing since. Beasley across to David. David again with his ability to unload the pass. And here comes the second Waikato try. And it goes to number four, their centre four header. But again, it's uh, Julian David that deserves much of the credit for that very good try. Waikato hit the lead for the second time in the match at eight to six with the kick to come. Oh, Waikato looking a little bit disorganised before this play, but that was a great ball, face ball from Daryl Beasley to David, and he offloaded a superb ball to header. Put his head down straight from the line, did a lot of Wellington defence there. We'll see the 
offload from David. It was a great ball. It hit a cut inside. There was no defence left from the Wellington team at all. And they don't come much better than that try from Paul Hedder. Second try of the season for the Waikato Centre. And back with Tamahohai. No problem in adding the extra two points.
Wellington are hit by 16 points to 10 at half time. Some interesting statistics there. You'll notice that Wellington are forcing Waikato to make basically 25% more tackles, and Wellington also comfortably ahead in both the territorial and possession stakes. Now the scrum going down at 42 metres from the Wellington line and it's a Shane Hill, the Waikato Cougars halfback, he's got trouble clearing this, the bounce is rather kind for him in the end, Beasley, this is the new man Greg Bright on the field for Waikato, number 16, Beasley back to Ransley, a little hesitant Ben Ransfield and Iona finally takes a Hill again, Clune. They are 30 metres from the Wellington line as Beasley again. Er, David shows it and releases it. And snapped up nicely there by Beasley. Lots of room here on the right wing for Tony Waikato. And he's in unopposed. That's a very good start from Waikato, just like they did in the first half. A try coming in the first couple of minutes. And the Waikato quickly closed that six point gap at 16 to 14. The kick still to come. And it was the big man, Julian David, that uh, unloaded the ball for Waikato. Uh, a little bit of sloppy play. Daryl Beasley got onto the ball, sent it out pretty quickly to Waikato. And he had no opposition, just a straight run to the line. Waikato for Waikato, and this is how it came. And again, that man, Julian David, that's how Waikato scored their second try. David scored their first, so really good. He's had a hand in every try. He's had a great game. And Tony Waikato, the big dive, and they didn't get a hand on him. This is a very difficult kick here for Hohaya. That's a very good looking kick. Has it got enough leg? It has. Superb kick. 16 all. The ball game is all tied up and we've only had four minutes of play in the second half. So just the one try since half time coming just over after the restart by a Waikato. And it tied the match up at 16 all after a sideline conversion from Tamahohaya, the Waikato fullback. No scoring since then. A very competitive 20 minutes of football we've had, however. You get the feeling that the side that scores next might win this match. Bell. Very good kick from Bell. And Jorge is going to have to run it out. And he's not going to have much to spare. He just gets, gets into the free land, as it were. Greg Bright steps out of two tackles, Bright three tackles and makes 20 valuable metres for Waikato. Beasley, just get the impression here Kurt, there's a little more urgency about the player Waikato than Wellington's at the moment. Yeah there seems to be, they seem to be, uh, their halves are playing pretty well. They're still supporting the ball carrier. Nice hands there from Master and number 17 Greg Shelford on the field but retrieved nicely there by Shane Hill. Tries to free it to Julian David. Oh, that's a good tackle made on Hill. David was looming up and free there. Carried on by Barlow. It's all Waikato at the moment. Carried on here by York. Ben Ratsfield going for the corner. And that's a great Waikato try. They don't come much better than that. 20 to 16. Waikato was the best try of the match. Capped off by a strong run over the last 20 metres by their second rower, Ben Ransfield. Kurt Sherlock, what do you make of this? Well, this try was really in the end. Started with Tamahohaya trying to make his way out of his own goal line. And Wellington, they were really at sixes and sevens. Plenty of holes there. Ben Ransfield, he was on the end of it. Escaped the tackle. You'll see from the play, the ball. Three Barlow. Straight out to Ransfield. No defence left from the Wellington side except their fullback. He wasn't big enough to make the tackle. The try was unconverted by Tamahohaya, and with just on 17 minutes of the match remaining, it's Waikato with a four point lead. Barlow, Waikato captain. Along the chain it goes to Nathan York. Straight into Malingi Ioni he goes just inside the Wellington half. 20 to 16 with about 15 minutes of the match remaining. 
David. Here he goes again, unloading it to Hohaya. And that's the fifth of March tackle. Indicates the referee, Gary Orcock, as Beasley puts it high in the air, coming down on the 22, waiting underneath it and taking it. Well, it's Malcolm Lewis. Nobody wants to touch this man. And the Waikato defence opened up like the Red Sea, and away he goes. Best performance all year, and I think that uh, 
I thought uh, we deserved to win, but uh, we didn't take the opportunities and uh, we let um, up off the hook a bit. Yeah. Any particular turning point in the game, do you think? I think when that bomb was up in the air, when they took that bomb and uh, went away all the way for a try, I think that was the turning point in the game. But I thought, felt that we had a chance of uh, coming back and then we wasted some stupid opportunities on dropping the ball and giving penalties away. Yeah, players to impress in, in your side, I thought Julian David had a, a very good game. Yeah, Julian played well and I thought our prop, uh, Nathan York, had a, a top game too and I thought that uh, our forwards stuck to the guns. I thought they were a bigger pack than ours, but uh, I thought we, we all tackled well and, uh, at times, and, uh, but I thought...